How would you like some peanut butter with that jelly sandwich? Mother... Hey, oh, it's the Chris Card Show. Hey, oh, it's... Hi, we're Malord and Savior. You're listening to the Chris Court Show. And it's brought to you by... Welcome to another episode. Hello, hello, hello! It's been one week. <laughs> A whole seven Since days. Since I looked at me through your arms, I said I'm crazy. What? <laughs> Bare naked ladies. Oh. Oh, one week. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Come on. Come on, guy. I know the band. It that is. fucking princess I crown get into your head. This Malort's getting to my head. Malort, Malort, Malort. Speaking of Malort, there's a lot of Malort to be had today. I hope you guys are having a fine day. If you're from Chicago, even if you're not from Chicago, you should know where Malort is. Well, fuck. Oh, I told you to do... Why don't you just splitties? That's why I said, well, fuck, because I guess I'm drinking that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So what we're doing right now is we're taking a shot of Malort. That's right. And um, in honor uh, of you're banging the table. You're banging the fucking table. I bang everything. What baby. the fuck? <laughs> Don't you know the fucking table? You yelled at me in the middle of this interview too, motherfucker. <laughs> interviews. Speaking of interviews. <laughs> Yes, we uh, interviewed Malort and Savior, and I just found out that it's a it's a um, a spinoff of My Lord and Savior, but Malort and Savior. Yeah, I thought that was pretty genius. And then here comes Matt in the interview. Oh, I knew it all the time. <laughs> Why you make me sound so Polish? <laughs> Of course, man. I know it all the time. I drive trucks. <laughs> I wish I drove trucks. I get paid more than I do right now. So we did go on a Zoom call with Malort and Savior. Um, I, we do have the video. I'm going to get the video up. Um, we might put it on our Patreon. I don't know what we're doing that with that quite yet. We got to figure that out. Uh, yeah, we got to figure that out. Uh, but it was a good time. Uh, and uh, they have a show coming up. You'll hear it in there. Uh, we're gonna def- definitely try to make that because we, you know, we're all about supporting our our little kittens. Our kittens. Uh, that, that's what our fan. Our, no. uh, that's what <laughs> not our fans necessarily, but like listeners or, or call, bands that we play. Our, our bands, kittens, or kittens. our listeners. Everybody, kittens. everyone's a kitten except for me and you. Yeah. Oh, um, I heard kittens coming to know tonight. Who's that? I don't know. He listens to the show. He's a kitten. <laughs> oh, I heard uh, kittens playing up at, uh, you know. Elbow Room. Elbow Room. Which is closed. Right. <laughs> Who's that? Kitten. Uh, listens to the show. It's yeah. a kitten. Yeah. Uh, so let's do these shots of Malort. Oh, God. That we are doing shots of Malort on dry January. This is my other cheat day, and this is going to be the last. This is what your third cheat day? Except for X and Valdez. <laughs> so that'll be your fourth cheat day? So you can't drink until February Damn, 4th. man. No, no, fuck that. All right? I'm done. No, let's see. When's February 4th? What day does it land on? Okay, stop. I think yeah, that's a gotta, Sunday. No, we got to check this shit. Sunday or Monday? It is a Sunday. So you still have a whole dry weekend in February. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to hold you to it. Either way, we do have more interviews coming, but let's enjoy this interview tonight, today, whenever you're listening. Here it's night. It's cold. It's, it's night. <laughs> We're by a brick wall. But it was an awesome interview, and you'll you'll hear it. We're going to play their song before we get into the interview, but we first, we are going to do a shot of Malort in honor of Malort and Savior. To Malort and Savior. To Malort and Savior. I want to sound like the news. God. 
You didn't have the anti-hero shit. <laughs> I might throw up. Do it. <laughs> Do it. Are you going to puke? I might. Oh, God. That would be awesome. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, let's get some bush light. <laughs> Ah, pussy, you didn't The puke. taste is not going away. <laughs> you didn't puke, pussy. Oh, it might still come. Yeah, yeah that's what she said. <laughs> yeah. No, she didn't. Anyway, um, so yes, we're going to play their song. And uh, it was, it, like I said, it was a good time. We were talking to them. Um, uh, our video interview kind of ended fast and you'll, you'll you might hear that in the interview and i'm sorry about that we were trying to reach out to them and uh we didn't hear anything back because um oh we don't know why we didn't hear anything back we didn't hear anything back oh yeah we don't we don't know why what <laughs> why why i don't know they didn't like us maybe you think maybe they can email us back and let us know why they didn't hear back nah no, it was a good time with them, though. I'm sure it would, you know, it's getting late and uh, it, w- it just kind of ended perfectly. But um, let's just let's just get into this uh, this song here. Warm alert and savior. This song is Be Cool or Beat It. It's about finding out that your dog is part of the Illuminati. It's not what this song's about. <laughs>
listening to the Chris Coleman Show. All right, that was Malort and Savior. Be cool or beat it. Are you waiting for me to say something now? <laughs> no, I heard you no, breathing. It was, a, it was a cool. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm, I'm a little congested right now. So, are you? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting a cold. Oh, great. Uh, hey, you wanted me to come over here early, and I still didn't. So, <laughs> <laughs> right, <laughs> motherfucker. Um, so, be cool or beat it. What did you think? I thought it was good. I mean, it was very uh, reminiscent of like you know the early 2000s or mid 2000s to 2010 like pop punk bands it's very reminiscent of that and it's modern it's new so yeah and then you'll hear in the interview too they kind of talk about that and um and they also talk about newer bands uh too yeah so some that i haven't even local bands uh that they played with and that they would like to play with it was it was really cool to to hear that and you know it's really cool to even hear bands playing still in chicago and hearing that everything's still basically the same from when we were in a band it's basically the same but it was a lot more i feel like it was a lot like local bands were a lot more prevalent when we were in a band oh for sure yeah like it was a big thing then like there was tons of local bands around yeah where there's a lot less now you find it less frequently but they're still they're still around is there a lot less or are we just kind of out of that scene maybe we're out of that scene i don't know I uh, yeah, I don't know. We should be in that scene, considering we support independent artists. Well, I'm talking about like actually going and playing maybe. different places. Maybe it's because we're out of that scene. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. But anyway, they were a really fun interview. Uh, the guys are hilarious. Um, I wish that we could have uh, done a, a little bit longer interview, but like I said, we, it, it cut off because Matt forgot to pay the funds. And <laughs> you're gonna blame me for not paying funds. And anyway, uh, but you know we we did end and ended it good. Uh, you can hear their next <coughs> show coming up. Um, so yeah, it it was just a really good time. Um, hilarious. We took a couple shots of Malort. Several shots of Malort. Several shots of Malort. Of course, we got to You know, I I can't. I can't be in dry January and not take a shot of Malort with. A band, Malort and Savior. Malort and Savior. I have to do that. Yeah. You know? Anyway, and without... Now you got to do another dry day in February. Nah, fuck that. Nope. February we'll 4th. Just, nah. Yeah, we're racking it up. I'm keeping track. You can rack these nuts up in oh, your mouth. I will. <laughs> anyway, without further ado, let's bring in the interview. Hope you enjoy it. Go check out their their stuff. They're, they're on TikTok. And, you know, they talk about that, too. Uh, everything that they're on, they're on Spotify. You know, you can find them anywhere. So go and check their stuff out. Go support them. These can't, guys are can't awesome. Find them on Twitter. They, they specifically said they're not on Twitter. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> but they're going to probably try. They yeah. So. All right. Without further ado, here it is. Enjoy. All right, so welcome to the Chris Court Show, guys. Hey, what's Thanks up? For Thanks for having us. Having us. Yes, uh, Malort and Savior. So I, right off the bat, uh, I got to assume that Malort and Savior is obviously from Malort. What's the Savior from? Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a play on words. Uh, it's supposed to uh, sound like my Lord and Savior, but it's Malort and Savior. Oh, wow. Yeah. You've been riding that show for, what, six years now? Yeah, that's actually very of a, yeah that's creative as hell so a lot of people think that it's kind of a religious band and in a way it is i right. mean we're secular but i mean you're, you're religious you towards the Lord. this shit and not believe in god you know what i mean <laughs> right. so good right and you know you're going to heaven or hell real fast after you take a shot so oh yeah my lord and savior my lord and savior that is awesome that is actually yeah. really cool play on nice. words all right, so introduce yourself. So who's uh, who's who and uh, who does what? Absolutely. Um, Taylor, why don't you start? Well, as he said, I'm Taylor. Uh, I sing for the band. 
Uh, and this is Pete. He plays keys. Hello. Oh, there you nice. go. Okay. So I was actually listening to your album all day today. Uh, the EP. Hey, you did. And uh, yeah, no, it was really good. Um, it reminded me a lot of the uh, old pop punk and, you know, it's kind of like uh, refreshing to hear that again. I appreciate that. Yeah. I mean, that, that's kind of why we made it. That's the stuff that we grew up on. Um, we, we love old style pop punk. Uh, we're getting older, but, uh, you know, our music tastes are not changing. It's the same as my dad still listening to all the shit he listened to in the 80s. Like, I, I just realized I'm like, yeah, I'm going to listen to stuff from when I was uh, 18, probably for the rest of my life. And I'm, I'm settling into that. Yeah. So I mean, it's good to expand too and find some other stuff, but we're always going to listen to the same shit we loved. Oh, yeah. It's never going to stop. <laughs> no. Yeah. You were starting a question. <laughs> you talk over me again. I'll kill you. Shut up. <laughs> uh so you know it's it's funny the way that i heard about you guys uh one of my buddies uh jeremy wallace he actually turned me on to you guys he texted me and he said chris you need to come here now i need to show you a band he's like you would your personality kind of goes with their personality i guess and he's, he's seen your uh tiktoks and all that yeah and then, uh, you know, he showed me your guys' TikTok and music. He's like, it's Malort and Savior. He's like, and their personality, like, is just like you guys, totally. He's like, oh, you need to interview good. them now. So well, that's I'm, how that, and that was just last week. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, we had a pretty successful TikTok blow up uh, last week. Um, we've gotten a lot of followers and new listeners, people reaching out. Finally, people are uh, starting to hear the good word of Malort, and uh, that's really all we're hoping to do with this band, that's good so. that's good. good so what so how did you get the tiktok um exploded uh kind of our rule well, so taylor recorded it and uh i kind of have to drag him kicking and screaming onto all this tiktok shit because he's not on any of those fun <laughs> short, I'm just too, uh, short I video know. i don't sites. get it he doesn't get <laughs> I don't it get it my rule i don't get is, it either <laughs> my rule is if taylor thinks he's too cool for it do it you know what I mean? <laughs> and th those have been our most successful TikToks. Whatever's pretty much just stupid enough that he doesn't want to do it, I'll, I'll usually drag him in front of the camera and make him do it. <laughs> and it just works. So he's a good barometer of what's cool. Was there a certain video or was it just, you know, whatever that your your account? It was, yeah, I think it was, there was one video that was just like an off the cuff uh, reference to a comment someone made. And then we put our song at the end of it and it just caught traction. That's awesome. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we kind of yeah. have a gimmick of a name. It's, it, it, I, I think it's a pretty good hook to get people in, <laughs> at least for people who have heard of Mollard. Um, right. You know, it, it's. It, I, I don't like band names that take themselves a little too seriously. Because right, right. what does it give me to work with? It's like, yeah, everyone takes themselves seriously, dude. Have a, have a fucking funny band name. Yeah, I, I actually like it a lot. I, it's, like I said, it, it's very, very creative. Mm-hmm. I never, I never put that together. You didn't put that together. I really did. You? <laughs> yes. You fucking so wait, did on. it. So you what, fucking what, didn't. So when I heard it, I was like, "My that. Lord and Savior." <laughs> <laughs> this guy over here. What did you want to talk shit about him? What were you saying? <laughs> well, no, no, no. I want to talk shit about you. So, oh yeah, you, you heard can. The name of Lord and Savior. You're like, oh, this is great. But what about the savior part? So did you just think we were called Malort and like and like savior Malort and like Malort and the savior? Like yeah, either one of you are Malort and one of you are a savior. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're we're actually a lot more than this. Uh, we just couldn't all make it today. Um, one yeah, of you is Jepson and one of you is Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Jepson um, and Jesus. <laughs> yeah, no, we're more than a duo. Uh, we're a five. Yeah, I seen you guys have five people, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so um, for go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you know, Taylor and I were the only ones who could make the uh, interview today, but I think you'll get more than enough of Mullard and Savior in your yeah. interview. Yeah. Well, shout out to the other guys in the band. Fuck you guys. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> They're probably out drinking Malort. They probably are. Right. So your song, um, "Be Cool or Beat It." Hell yeah! I heard a lyric in there today, and I was said, "Wow, that was pretty good." And it was uh, so fucked packed bars in Wicker Park. I need some elbow room. So uh, mo most of our early shows were at the venue elbow room before it closed. 
Um, yeah. So it's a nod to that in addition to pack bars, not, you know, needing space and stuff. But uh, Elbow Rim gave us a lot of opportunities and we were very grateful to play there a bunch. Uh, made a lot of cool friends and connections there as well. Yeah. We yeah, uh, first like real venue show was at Elbow Room, so we wanted to give them a shout out. I wrote that before they closed. Unfortunately, they're closed right now, but uh, yeah, maybe someone will buy them up, open them back up because I, uh, I fucking miss Elbow Room, man. So, yeah, so do I. You guys played in the uh, uh basement there, yeah, well, they wouldn't have us upstairs, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> the best bands play in the basement, that's right. We were uh, we were in a band, well. For like 15 years, uh, we played Elbow Room a couple times, and yeah, we never got to play upstairs. You know, we were just always playing downstairs. But I, I, I think it's more fun downstairs in oh, the basement. Yeah. Yeah. It's like more you can personal. Make a big mess. I like it. All right. Um, so we're just gonna ask you a series of questions. Um, you know, stuff to kind of promote and you know do things like that. Meg, you sure. can go ahead and start but here. Before we jump into it, can I ask you guys yeah. a question? Are you yeah, guys outside sure. right now? I see your breath. No, we're inside. Yeah, no, we're outside sitting by a brick wall. <laughs> it's like, just like, is it? Hey, yeah, no, we, we How actually, cold is it in there? we're sitting in a garage. It's, yeah, it's, <laughs> we're sitting in a garage because I have kids and we can't be loud. That's okay. fair. So That's it's, fair. you know, so we have a brick wall here. Behind this is a garage door. So that works. It, it's a fake brick wall. It's a piece of cloth. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I think they get there. <laughs> but we did. We did have a heater running for a while before we yeah. started the thing. So we warmed up a bit before the show or before the interview started. Well, I got some long johns on. <laughs> we'll start it up after we're done too. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's a tough day to be out in the garage, man. I mean, it's a it's a cold one. So it, it's, yeah, it could be colder. We've had us. colder days. We've been out in this garage. Oh yeah, we'll take as many shots as you guys want or need to. If you want yeah, to keep warming up, yeah. So, I no, mean, oh, let's do it. Let's well, I know, do it I know this guy over here. He's he's doing uh, dry I see January. You guys freezing. You guys gotta warm up with something. <laughs> you know what's funny is um, I'm actually doing dry January. Oh, oh no. Okay, so I'm, so I was listening to your uh, episode earlier. You said you had a few cheat days. Today is one of those, right? Today is one of them. All right, All let's right. go. <laughs> we'll come back somewhere in February, maybe. Right. All right, guys. Cheers. You guys want to make a toast? Cheers. Uh, yeah, let's make a toast to uh, my Lord and Savior. Oh, yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Oh, it never gets easier, guys. Oh, I think it does. But... <laughs> oh, God. All right. Well, that was good. <laughs> All right. How much worse could this interview get? I mean, <laughs> if, if, we're if, about if, to if, find if, out. <laughs> You started with this, man. Can't get worse. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll start with some questions then. Uh, how did you guys become a band, and what inspired the name? I mean, obviously, yeah, Malort Taylor. inspired the name, but... <laughs> um, I mean, we've all known each other for quite a long time, so when we were growing up in like high school and stuff, um, we listened to all this music from the 2000s, and so me and a couple of the other guys were in uh, Dirty Nellies out in Palatine for Carolina oh, yeah. Night. Uh, we were singing some of these songs. And we're like, we can play these songs. So we actually started as a cover band um, and just learned some of those and people like that. And we're like, we could also probably write our own music. So, um, yeah, we joined up after that, uh, just kind of voted on a band name. And we all gather around with Malort for every practice. That was like our tradition uh, for starting to, you know, play well or whatever. So it loosens up. It makes you, it, you don't play better, but you think you're playing better when you're drinking Malort. So. Yeah, I mean, you think you're playing better when you drink anything. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I haven't tried it with other liquors. I mean, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a one liquor man, you know? So you guys just drink Malort, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I actually, I prefer it to other uh, liquors because I feel like it doesn't sit as heavy in my stomach. Uh, yeah. Older, so I, I like, I mean, obviously, people don't like the taste of it going down, but once it's down, you know, it's down there. It's, right. It doesn't stay down for me. That's for sure. I don't know. It's, that's a nice thing about me. I get no hangover because I throw up like 30 seconds later. It's nice. Yeah. Well, the cool thing is slimmer, less hangover. It's nice. The cool thing about Malort um, is that to me, like I never get hangovers. Yeah. As much as I drink. Cause there's like no uh, sugar in there or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I mean, there, there's some sugar in it, but it's, it's very low sugar. It's not sweet. So. Yeah, yeah. 
There was a there was a low carb diet that was a fad for a while, and the only alcohol that made the list was Malort because it was so not wow. sugary, I guess. So, sure. and it's gluten free. So um, yeah. yeah. Um, it, it, we actually we were talking about uh doing the tour. Uh, oh, yeah. to to Malort. So yeah, w- I I did taste the wormwood, and uh, we actually did a shot with um the guy who owns it. I guess it's like CH Distillery, and yeah, that's right. He happened awesome. to be there, and he's like, "Hey, let's do a shot together." Nice. nice. So we all did a shot. It was like, oh, okay, it's cool. Cool. I like the random drum set they just had chilling in the distillery yeah. too. <laughs> it was like all this alcohol stuff, and then random drum set. That's Did you get the right like in a distillery <laughs> with like a high ceiling, like rafters, big heavy <laughs> machinery, and then just a drum? <laughs> right, that's how Malort gets its taste. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we actually have, the, yeah, so I wanted to show you this bottle. So I actually got this when I was there, private reserve. Oh, yeah, there so it's anti hero Malort. Yeah, hold it closer. <laughs> oh, right on. Okay, yeah, that's cool. I like the bottle. Nice. Now it's it tastes. I, I explained to them it tastes about five times worse than regular Malort, and they said, "Well, Malort tastes great." <laughs> Damn right it does. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it does. It does. <laughs> no one drinks it as a joke. Okay. <laughs> Very. You serious. definitely don't trick random people at the bar asking for shots with it either. Right. right. Uh, I've had people ask me, "What does it taste like?" Down. And I'll be like, "It's great. You'll love it." <laughs> say, "Happy twenty-first birthday, random person. Here's a shot." <laughs> yeah, then they say, "What is this?" From, like Florida. <laughs> And say, hey, it's out the shot of Malort. We all love it. We take a shot. You just look at their face. It's like giving someone a, like a gag gift, right? And then just trying to see their reactions. Like, are they gonna? Are they gonna pretend to like it? Uh, are they gonna be cool? <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, my yeah. first, uh, my first Malort shot. I was 23, um, out in this random dive bar. And this guy made up this whole story about how it was really nice to meet him. He's like, oh, man, he seemed like such a cool guy. Let me buy a shot. And I was like, oh, all right, let's let's do one. And I took it, and it was like that, you know, pine salt and urine flavor mixed together. And it was just like, I was like, what is this? And he goes, ah, gotcha. It's my lord. It's like, okay, <laughs> good to meet you. <laughs> right. Gotcha. I remember the uh, the shots that used to be like a gotcha shot was uh, the Prairie Fires, I think it was called. It was like yeah. tequila and uh, Tabasco sauce. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah, man. I had that once. Yeah. It yeah, was freshman year. I think that was fucking. I puked oh, right God. back into it. Yeah, like, <laughs> but I, I tasted like like you could taste spicy a lot further down your throat than you think. Like I thought yeah. my tongue ended like right here at the console, but it actually goes like way down here. I found yeah. out. You taste it like pretty much halfway down your chest. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> for sure. So, uh, what are you guys' influences? Oof. I think we have different influences because Pete writes some of the songs. I've wrote some of the yeah. songs. Um, I think for me, I like uh, more some of the newer pop punk, like Wonder Years and The Swellers. Um, obviously, I like the old ones as well. But for my yeah. writing style, I think the the newer, not newer ones, but the mid 2000s ones were more my influence personally. Oh, okay. Yeah, and, and for me, like, uh, I'm a keyboard player, so uh, you don't get a lot of that in pop punk. You get some of it with, like, Motion City Soundtrack, who's one of my favorite bands of all time. So a lot of times I'm branching out into different genres for uh, influence. Um, I really like bands like uh, Passion Pit. I like uh, some, like, dubstep and, like, EDM music. But then at the same time, I like uh, the Front Bottoms. They're, like, an indie folk band. I love them. They're probably my favorite band in the world. Um, oh, wow. And then like older bands, easy ones, just like Blink-182, Fall Out Boy, um, uh, Motion City Soundtrack, I already mentioned. Yeah. Um, I love that they say those are older bands. You want? I said I love that they say that those are older bands. Unfortunately, man, you're starting to hear that shit in grocery stores now. I like to say it. Well, the funny part is like when we were graduating high school, we're like the new bands. (laughs) Yeah. No, it's. It, once it's in grocery stores, my friend, it's all over. I mean, that, that's you're right. I was just dodos. in. Uh, it's not the hot new shit anymore. I was at Jewel the other day, and that was here in Green Day. I was like, oh yeah. shit! Wow. Well, mm-hmm. Yep. This don't mean shit also, no more. Also, all the events, like uh, there was a uh, emo ice skating a few weeks ago, and I was like, they're just throwing this is, emo this is just on 80s anything, night, dude. So. This is just a 2020s version of 80s <laughs> night. Like, right. Right. <laughs> 
it was like 20 years ago everyone was going to 80s night like oh remember how cool the 80s were and you know when you go to an emo night even a lot of people don't see like the resemblance it's like no we're with we're the black hair day, covering you know? one eye and yeah mm-hmm. yeah yeah so what's the songwriting process? So how do you guys start that? Is it just, does someone actually come up with it or is it a mix of you guys or how does that work? Uh, to an extent, it's a mix of us. Uh, I think if one of us has an idea, we have a, usually a base for the song that we do on our own. And I think we each have our own processes. Yeah, it, it's definitely the skeleton. Most of a song is going to come out of uh, one of us. And especially for me and Taylor, who do most of the writing, we'll come to the rest of the band with a song idea and everyone else in the band is a lot more talented than us and they kind of make it sound good like we yeah. just record like just you know onto our computers or whatever maybe have like a couple guitar chords an idea of the lyrics and the general melody we bring it to our drummer jim or our guitarist or bassist and stuff and they really tighten it up and make it actually sound good um, but, but you guys are the ones who are writing the actual songs and writing the oh, yeah. lyrics yeah oh yeah so so you're just as talented as they are just in a different way in a different way. Yeah. 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 But no, technically, like like on a technical level, we are fucking I'm dog shit. I would never say that Taylor was bad at at, at his craft. But uh Taylor, how do you feel about your singing skills or your uh your music musicianship? You know, the only thing that matters is that it turns out well in the end. So fucking <laughs> right. there you there go. You know. <laughs> yeah. And if it doesn't turn out well, you got more Malort behind you. Hell yeah. Exactly. Right. <laughs> no, I got, a, I got a quick question. Yeah. Do you, a, do you have a cape on your shirt? I do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Holy shit! Shirt. I didn't see $8. that. <laughs> so there's your savior. <laughs> yeah, he, he's, he's kind of our unofficial mascot, like Malort Man. Uh, I got this like eight dollars at Party City. This shirt itself, we uh, we asked one of our buddies, uh, Phoebe, to make it. Um, she hand painted this, and mm-hmm. it's amazing. It looks great, but uh, I'm not sure if you can wash it because this is like all hand painted and stuff. So. So that's Starting never been smell. watched. <laughs> Febreze. Pour Malort on it to keep it. Like right, there you go. I didn't even notice the cape. Good call out on that. Yeah, I saw something out of his shoulders. I'm like, is that a cape? <laughs> yeah, I got recognized by uh, my girlfriend's high school. Like, she went to high school with this random person that saw our video, and she was like, oh, I didn't realize you were d- dating the Malort guy. And I was like, all right, I guess I'm the Malort guy now. So. <laughs> so there you go. Neat. And That's Taylor, a, he's walking around like at grocery stores in public wearing the shirt and cape <laughs> saying, oh, my God, I can't believe people recognize me. What is this? I'm a total celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> what are your guys' uh, favorite tracks to play live and why? Uh, originals or covers wise? Originals. Um, yeah, I, I think we just had a lot of fun with Be Cooler Beat It. I think, it's got to be Be Cooler yeah, Beat It. A lot of people, it's, it's it is very a fun song to sing along to, and yeah, people enjoy it. So. It's just so fun at the beginning. I, at, at live shows, we, you know, the little ba, 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 la, da, 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 that we do at the end. We do that at the beginning, too, at live shows, which is really nice. You get everyone kind of jumping up, pumped up, and it's fun because it's got vocals for basically everybody in the band, especially like during the breakdown. We're all kind of like passing the mic around to each other. Oh, that's um, cool. So the, it's that plus the gang vocals plus just all the stupid shit like stopping the song halfway through, taking a shot of Malort, starting it again. Um, nice. There's a lot of like breaks in that song. It's a very oh, yeah. gimmicky, silly song. Sounds like you guys have so a lot of fun with it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. You guys are oh, yeah. very, uh, you're, you're very, um, when I was listening to it, a, a very tight band. And the, thank you. The, the piano in it or the organ, um, is I think it's perfect for for the music too. You were uh, saying finally. earlier. You I were told saying, you, Taylor. He wanted to kick me out. No, no don't do it, Taylor. I thought I thought it <laughs> added a little, uh, you know, a little spazzazz to it, you know, because you don't normally Thank hear you. that, and that's what kind of gives you your guys's uh, sound. I think because you could hear yeah. that in in, in uh, a lot of the songs, like you know, you just hear that, like kind of stick out, and I thought that was cool. I mean, that, that's kind of half the reason that I get, like, really motivated to write our songs, because I feel like if somebody else is writing a song, like our guitarist or our bassist, they're not going to make room for keys. It's like, I kind of have to make it myself. Yeah. If, if I'm writing a song, like, I got to make sure that this song will not survive without keys. It's like, it's my band insurance, I think. <laughs> Job security. <laughs> right. Writing the songs is also job security. <laughs> yeah, yeah, baby. <laughs> That's probably your biggest job security that you have. <laughs> yeah, maybe. 
So are there any uh, upcoming projects or releases or anything? Uh, so very recently we just put out a song, um, maybe like three or four weeks ago. It's called Sam Wainwright is away in New yeah. York and you're here in Bedford Falls. Never get better. It's our Christmas song. Uh, so not super relevant now that it's not Christmas, but, uh, we are going to be playing it out at our next live show, which is February 16th. Yep. It's a, we're playing at bourbon on division, which is a pretty cool venue as well. February yeah, 16th. Said, uh, you said February Where, 16th. What, what date? Uh, what's, what's that day? It's Friday. Friday. Oh, snap. Why, why do they always have shows on Fridays? <laughs> well, we can we can probably make that one. February 16th. Could, yeah, you guys, should, you, you guys should definitely come along. Yeah, we um, you know, any any time that we uh, interview a Chicago band, because we interview like people from fucking Scotland to, you know, whatever. But anyone that we have actually interview that's from Chicago, we go and see all the time and support. Oh, hell and, yeah. Awesome. Better if they come through Chicago, we'll go and support them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Very cool. Yeah. So we got to, we'll write that down and, uh, you know, we'll see what, uh, what's going on that day. But the, yeah, more than likely we'll, we'll be there. If not any I'd other shows, guys, any other shows that you guys have, uh, we're, we're getting the gears turning on a few other places. Uh, yeah. but that's the only one we have set in stone right now. Okay, right. cool. I remember being in a band and like trying to get shows and stuff and like, I don't know if it's still the same thing, especially in Chicago. It was like, well, how many people are you going to have turn out? And oh no, yeah. it's a hundred percent that a promoter will hit you up and they'll say, "Hey, you uh, or no, you'll hit up a promoter and say, "Hey, can we play a show here?" They'll say, "Yeah." I'm like, "Okay, great." And then they'll say, "Okay, can you make a poster?" And I'm like, "Sure, I can make a poster." <laughs> Aren't you the promoter? And they're like, "Yeah, just make a poster." I'm like, "Okay." You make a poster, like, "Hey, can you find opening bands?" And I'm like. Yeah, okay, I'll find yeah. out many bands. They're so like, it's okay, still how the many same. people are you bringing? I'm like, motherfucker, what are you doing? <laughs> right. You've sent four emails and you're taking like 25% of the revenue of this show for, for fucking what? But to no, email that, you. They just want to yeah, make for, money. For, for sending six emails. And it doesn't even go. Doesn't even come. To, not, not naming any names, but I've been yeah. to a lot of shows where the promoter didn't show up. I mean, his loss. It's an awesome wow. show. I mean, don't tell anyone. I would play for free. I don't give a shit. I don't right. do this for money. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're the same way. We don't do this for money. Yeah, well, yeah. we actually we actually lose money doing lose this. Money. <laughs> so do we. Oh yeah, no, no, no. We're 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 we're, we're in the red on this band pretty deeply, <laughs> and uh, I'm totally okay with that. Right, you do it for the fun. Yeah, yeah. no, you do it for the fun. We, we we don't play live shows with the consistency of it being a career. Also, being a five piece kind of makes it even harder. Yeah. Whatever you're making, you're splitting five ways evenly. So no, yeah, it's, it's in no it's, way a business. It's a lot of work us, too, so. traveling with a five piece band and getting all the equipment set up, and it's a and, lot. You know, we're <laughs> and all getting in the like early thirties right now. Uh, yeah. Our bassist, uh, you know, he has a son now. Um, so like that plus you know wives, girlfriends, um, living situations. It, we're busy, you know. Yeah. So we we play shows when we can and when we want, and it, it's amazing. Yeah. All right. Um. In the genre of pop punk, how do you guys strive to be like unique and get yourselves out there? Like, what do you guys do to make yourselves stand out? Uh, I think our personalities come through pretty well in our uh, both our media and our shows. Um, we like to do uh, like a uniform bit, like I'll wear this, and the rest of them will have like a, a matching outfit. Uh, we did a, a sailor uh, sailor moon outfit for a Halloween show. We were the Sailor Scouts, but in the Lord. Um, <laughs> So yeah, we, we try to bring a little bit of energy on stage with uh, how we present ourselves and just our interactions with the crowds and stuff. So. Yeah, I'd say like more than anything, we just try to be funny. Um, yeah. Whenever I've seen bands, like when I go to see them live, if, if, if the opener comes on, they could be the best, most like technically sound, amazing, moving like emo band. But if they're all just fucking like sad, singing about like their feelings and shit, like look man i get that that's a big deal to you i get it but i don't know you i don't know your story i like if i knew you i would be totally into it but like when you're a small like up and coming band you gotta be fun you gotta control the energy it's like especially when you're like there as an opener you gotta be hyping people up you gotta be silly you gotta not be taking yourself seriously you gotta just be there for like right. for having fun and half the songs we play don't have keyboard in them so i'm just dancing around the stage harassing our guitarist or our drummer or taylor right here um just making an ass out of myself because it's funny it's it's just fun so i mean 
in a word, I'd say that what sets us apart is we try to be funny. Well, that's, I mean, from your videos, I mean, that's how my buddy told me about you guys. Cause he said like, look at there, they, you know, this shit is funny. He's like, you know, they're just like, they're just like your guys' personality. And like, yeah. I was like, all right, cool. So, I mean, it's definitely working for you guys. Thank you. Oh yeah. I'm pouring another shot. Oh, okay. No, I'm, I'm not gonna let you get ahead of me, motherfucker. Damn, motherfucker, <laughs> had it in his hand. <laughs> this is our, uh, this is our private reserve right here. This is just our logo of the band that we put onto it. We nice. use this for our music video because we technically have nothing to do with uh, Wait, the distillery that makes this, or Jepsons, or any of those. We people. are in no way sponsored by Malord. Yeah, I think we should say that we're not sponsored by Malord at all. Neither, neither Malort are we. Technically. <laughs> Malort is technically just the Swedish word for wormwood, and that's all we're named after. So, oh, so wormwood legally, and if, if they ever come after us, like for <laughs> using this name and our band name, like when we're huge and we're like on SNL or something, they can't do shit. <laughs> yeah, and then we can replay this to them. Yeah, let's not challenge them. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, we're ah, fucking the challenge them. <laughs> Cheers to challenging them. <laughs> Cheers to challenging I think that'd be funny if they sued us, because then we could be like, we're getting sued by Jepsons. It's a huge legal controversy. <laughs> They're stepping on the little guy. Help our poor band, please. No, don't do it, Jepsons. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I think that would, uh, that would, I mean, any publicity is good publicity. It yeah. always does, dude. Yeah. Every time you try to stomp something out, it it it, just, it grows back together stronger. Yeah. So, are there any other artists you ever dreamed of working with? Um, right now, uh, we're kind of chasing a couple of other uh, local Chicago bands that we really want to play with. Uh, just some of our hometown heroes. Uh, yeah. A big one that we really, really want to play with is a uh, sincere engineer. Um, oh. she is just one of the most badass ladies in the uh, pop punk right now. Um, uh, we so badly want to play with her, but, uh, long term, you know, I'll play with anyone in Chicago. Yeah. Uh, Taylor, who are you, who are you uh, uh, I mean, wooing? like pipe dream level. I'd love to like open for a fallout boy or something. That'd oh be, my God. That'd be the best. So, oh shit. Um, yeah. Um, we, I just saw them at the Metro and they had an opening band that I had never heard of. And it was just like Pete Wentz found them online was listening to them he's like you know what you guys are gonna open for us i'm like no shit so, yeah who knows you never know i don't just start you start big. tagging your videos with fallout boy <laughs> yeah. there you go then they'll, they'll, they'll hear of you yeah <laughs> we do that with uh dave grohl even though we don't mention him on the show <laughs> <laughs> we always just tag dave grohl because one of these days we're like you know Maybe one of these days is going to be like, who the fuck is Chris Court? <laughs> you guys ever uh, hear about me. that band uh, Diet Light up in Milwaukee? No. Their, uh, their drummer went out to TikTok and he played the riff from, um, what's that song? Buddy Holly? The uh, From uh, Weezer? From Weezer, yeah. yeah. He played that every day for 997 days until rivers from weezer duetted him and like like two or three days like shy of the um shy of the like 1000 day mark weezer duetted him and like they both played it together no and then shit he ended up getting to go on stage with them and play it like live for them when they went holy to shit uh yeah their meme magic is untouched i would love to play with diet light diet light if you're listening to this call me yeah give him a call what's your number no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you, want, you want to put it all over the internet? <laughs> well, that's actually one of our next bits that we just talked about. We just set up a Google Voice number. We don't have this fully set up yet, but uh, you know how a lot of emo songs they have a they have like a voicemail in the intro of like a girl saying, "Oh, I just can't be with you anymore." Blah blah blah. Yeah. Blah, blah, well, that, that was that, in like, one of your guitar. songs, wasn't it? Like, no, that was actually a that was or, actually a clip from BoJack Horseman. <laughs> Oh, was it? Yeah, I was gonna yeah, say, I thought it was. Yeah. I, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't pinpoint where it was from, but I was like, "This sounds familiar." Yeah, no, that's from BoJack Horseman. That's when. Uh, that's when uh, Todd goes. Uh, goes kind of nuts on BoJack over. Uh, over okay. Sleeping with Emily. What Pete means is it might be from BoJack Horseman. Right. They, they did not steal yeah, anything. Sure. Well, yeah, we would never. We would never put copyrighted material in our songs. But um, anyway, point is. Our next bit, what we want to do is we want to start a Google voice number and just say, hey, man, everyone just leave a voicemail on here. Whoever has the funniest one 
can be the intro of our next song that we come up with. Oh, that we'll would be kind of a cool song. Idea. We'll start with like, you know, someone's funny but sad voicemail. We'll we'll see. We'll see. We're gonna crowdsource our fans. That would actually be really cool. Something really funny. If I were in a band, I would steal that. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you are in a band. <laughs> Not no more. <laughs> no, that was in the um what well, probably yeah. almost ten years ago. Ten years ago, yeah. Not no more. It was it was a fun time, but you know, then everyone had kids and yeah, man, life happens. Wives and everyone left me, and it was just me. I'm, sorry, I'm still man. here. Yeah, I actually I you came back because I left you before. But yeah, I came back. <laughs> <laughs> so before we leave, you guys, you don't pay for Zoom. <laughs> I got you. I got you. <laughs> we should start that. It's expensive. We looked it up. No, oh, yeah, it's like 150 dollars a year. Sheesh. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Um, so be, before we uh before we let you guys go, anything to plug, anything to promote? Yeah, we got a show. Uh February 16th at Bourbon on Division. Uh you can get merch. You can get this cool ass t shirt at Big Tar or Mullert and Savior dot big cartel dot com. Um uh, we're on Spotify, we're on Instagram, we're on TikTok, we're hilarious on all of them. Um we're on Apple Music. We're on Facebook. We're uh, we're on everything except uh, all the socials. Not Twitter. Except One of us has got to. We got to make we, a Twitter. X. I, yeah, X. X. Uh, only knows Twitter. X. Yeah. See, I can't keep up. <laughs> you got. You got to get on. You threads, on side. Right? You got to get a threads now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buy our merch. It's hilarious. <laughs> Once again, thank you for listening to the Chris Court Show. Remember, if you have a band or business, or know someone that has a band or business, send all the info and mp3s to chriscourtshow at gmail.com. Chicken nuggets and cranberry sauce. The Chris Court Show. I'm going to be talking into the microphone while I'm sucking your dick. And I hope you enjoy it. <laughs>